Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and the other day somebody had asked me a question how to master Saturn and I will also make the detailed video on remedies for Saturn like I have made for Moon and Sun I think. So I'll be making the remedy videos for rest of the planets very soon and now I have started. So there you go but today I will share something very specific about Saturn. All right, you, this is not uh, specifically a remedy, but this is a beautiful understanding which you will have. This will help you to master your Saturn. Your, my, everybody's Saturn. <laughs> so there you go. If you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up at the end after watching and share it with those who keep asking you how do i improve my saturn my god saturn <laughs> shani 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 oh my god there's so much fear about shani and yes if you want to know how your saturn is placed where your saturn is placed how uh, is it going to behave or how is it behaving or how it was behaving in the past and if you want to know about your marriage or career or education or health or relationships affairs scandals anything then you can go to my website and book a reading with me personally one to one you will find the link of the website in the description of this video below all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you he will also help you to master your saturn <laughs> okay so if you see the uh, system of nakshatras although i have not made videos on nakshatras but nakshatras are basically what they make up a zodiac sign so if you divide the zodiac sign in any zodiac sign into parts then you will find nakshatras so nakshatras they also have rulership planetary rulership so saturn rules particular nakshatras all right so saturn rules the nakshatra of pushya which is in cancer then it rules the nakshatra anuradha which is in the sign of scorpio and then it rules uttar bhadra pada which is in the sign of pisces now it's very peculiar you see because saturn is the planet of work discipline ethics what the hell is it doing in water signs <laughs> why in the universe is saturn owning nakshatras which are placed in water signs why have you ever thought Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, this, that. No, it doesn't work like that. We have to think the system is not just made out of the blue. The system is made because there are reasons. There's scientific reason behind that. All right. So that means whenever these signs are strong in our chart, strong means their lords are well placed or the planets which signify these houses which are water signs which means jala tattva especially moon and venus when they are well placed in our chart or when we try to improve these planets saturn automatically improves now you understand why <laughs> so that means if somebody has a problem with saturn basically what saturn is saturn is duty discipline structure commitment doing things even if you don't like sometimes when it is needed those things are represented by saturn so when we do not have control over our emotions when emotions go haywire as in the shrimad bhagavatam it is said vasudeva bhagavati bhakti rakinchana sarvair gunais tatra samasate sura harava bhaktasya kuto mahat gunan manorathe na sati dhavato bahi Manoratha is the chariot of the mind. Manorathe na sati. Today I want this, I want that, I want this girl, I want that boy. She's looking hot, he's looking handsome. Wow. <laughs> Manorathe na sati. Dhavato bahi. Bahi means too many. <laughs> too many desires. The mind is wandering here, the mind is wandering there. So when that is happening with us, then it is very 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 difficult to master saturn because saturn shows boundaries and focus then you are not able to focus you see you are getting married and you are complaining oh my marriage is not working but then what do you do oh look she's looking very nice 
oh my god he's more rich than my husband that is what you are doing right after you get married and then you are expecting that your marriage will be great somehow so the problem is when we do not master our emotions we cannot focus in life and saturn represents our ability to see things in a narrow vision jupiter represents our optimism the bird's eye view yes that is what is the duty of a guru the guru gives you the bird's eye view that you have to do this 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 but saturn actually tells you what you have to do in the ground but when we do not have control over emotions then our mind undergoes lot of mood swings you see and then when there are mood swings then what happens change the topic <laughs> suppose you are going to the gym every day and to, today my mood is not good have you seen people oh aaj mood nahi kar raha i am not feeling like doing it oh we'll go from tomorrow right <laughs> end of discipline mood swing means saturn is finished because you cannot do things which you should be doing anybody who is having discipline in his or her life that automatically means that moon is strong in that person's chart automatically it means and then you will also be away from addictions because if you are having addictions that means you are giving in to the mood swings oh the mind is saying look 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 you are not feeling happy you need something to be happy right so let's go to internet and type xyz.com yes pornography wow let's enjoy <laughs> and after 2 minutes of your uh experience you are losing all your vitality from the body and then what's happening oh tomorrow i have my office right oh i was also supposed to go to the gym no it doesn't work like that a person who is lacking discipline in one area of his life will also lack discipline in the other areas of life so suppose somebody is having a youtube channel and the person makes a commitment or a resolution that oh i will upload one video every 3 days or one video every week or every day and then first month the person does it so 30 days 10 videos come out 3 days one video but then gradually the person is like oh i am not feeling like doing it i don't want to do this i do not want to do that then that's it end of your youtube <laughs> journey so the point is if we want to master our saturn we have to make sure that we are emotionally stable otherwise it is impossible to follow any discipline or any routine and how do we do that we have to ensure that our mind is grounded to something very strong and that only happens when we are connected to god spiritually otherwise it doesn't happen because suppose i connect i ground my mind to my husband or to my wife then what will happen oh tomorrow if that person dies tomorrow if that person says i don't want to stay with you then what do you do you go on crying right have you seen people after breakups crying 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 as if the world has come to an end still they are crying so many people i know they've had breakups two years back till now till today they are crying so the thing is when we ground ourselves to things of this material world which are perishable anything you get in this world can be taken away from you anything i am saying anything means anything you get married to the most beautiful girl or the most handsome man or the most richest man or maybe the most richest girl these days he or she can perish or somebody may come and take her away from you right affairs <laughs> prince charles charming charles beautiful diana everybody remembers right or maybe you have an identification i am the owner of this company i am the owner of this macbook no the macbook will be finished one day <laughs> in fact it's already 4 years old my laptop i don't know how long it will sustain already the earphone jack has gone oh no i have a iphone x right iphone y iphone z oh i have this beautiful million dollar job but what if they fire you tomorrow so then you have lost it people say have you lost it man pagal ho gaya kya beowkuf idiot <laughs> 
so this is what happens when we do not ground ourselves to something which is substantial and the simal bhagavatam says lord vishnu is achutya achutya means one who cannot fall down he is infallible so once we try to develop our connection with god then our mind automatically becomes stable because we now understand that we are rooted to something so nothing of this world can shake us basically it can shake us to some extent but it cannot uproot us when a person has a breakup or a divorce or when the person is fired what happens the person collapses completely majority of the people and if you have invested time and energy in the job or in the person when there is a breakup or you are fired you will feel terrible that's obvious because you have invested a lot of energy time and energy in the person or in the job but why that is happening the person's entire life gets uprooted because the person is feeling i was holding on to something now that has been taken away from me it's like you throw a person out of his home where will he sleep he will, he, has, he has to go and sleep in the road but suppose we ground ourselves to spiritual things then our mind will be very focused our mind will be very strong our mind will be able to focus that is the problem in life people tell me that oh i am not able to focus how can you focus if you are using whatsapp facebook all the time that is why i have a golden principle when you are working shut your mobile off because that is a distraction because some useless groups keep sending whatsapp messages unnecessarily useless messages oh what rahul gandhi did what narendra modi did are let them do na you do your work <laughs> they are doing their work you do your work but no you will forward it right because you think everybody is going to see ah such a waste of time <laughs> i feel very bad for all these people who keep doing all this forwarding uh, jokes on uh, vulgar things na double meaning double minded sexual topics politics who is having an affair with whom ah such a waste of time <laughs> and then we are seeing and then we are like oh i got to write this program also no it doesn't work like that focus 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 but for that the prerequisite is your mind should be peaceful then these nakshatras will not trouble you otherwise these three nakshatras will trouble you and then your saturn cannot function so we need to make the mind peaceful grounded to something which can never be taken away from us because even if we die which everybody is going to die i mean one day but the soul's journey is eternal and whatever the soul does in one lifetime spiritually doesn't get diminished that stays as it is intact and then that is carried on to the next life and lord krishna says in the gita shuchi nam shrimatam gehe lord krishna says that according to one's practice i give them positions later if somebody has done some practice krishna might give them lot of material allurements allurements in the sense perks a person can look very beautiful the person can speak very nicely the person can be very intelligent or if the person has done bit more then the person can get birth in a very strong family which is very religious not necessarily very spiritual but they have some inclination about god family uh, like you can take a for example a brahmin family in india brahmin means not the brahmins of today beef eating brahmins there are many brahmins who are eating beef i know they are uploading photos in instagram i'm not talking of them but serious brahmins who are doing their mantras every day not official brahmins okay and if somebody has done much more then krishna says i give them birth in the family of my devotees great devotees yes like pralad maharaj <laughs> bali maharaj was his i mean pralad was the ancestor of bali maharaj something like that yes prala this is a paramhamsa so depending on our spiritual practice the next destination is decided i mean not depending on only our spiritual practice depending on our material activities also but our where we are situated spiritually that will be dependent on how much we do in this life and if we complete our spiritual progress then we go back to the spiritual world after this life ends 
Yadgatvanani vartante tadhama paramam mama. One who reaches that abode doesn't come back. <laughs> so when we are grounded to God, then our mind is quite clear. And then we can also see things clearly. Because people keep saying, Oh, I don't know what should I do. I should do this or I should do that. Should I become a football uh, player or should I become a cricketer? There are people asking these questions also. They don't know what to do in life. Can you imagine? So if you don't know what to do, that means your mind is mind is like a hodgepodge with too many ideas. That means there is no focus in life. You think you will do 10 things simultaneously. It doesn't work like that. Alright. So if we want to stabilize our mind, we should have some strong spiritual practice inculcated in our lifestyle every day without fail. It is not time pass. Going to the temple on Janmashtami, going to the masjid on Eid, going to the church on Christmas. That's not spirituality. It's a time pass which you are doing. So if you make God an object of time pass, then God also does time pass with you. Because Lord Krishna says in the Gita that I reciprocate the way they approach me. If somebody wants to know the shloka then maybe somebody can write it in the comments i will not tell question mark <laughs> or should i tell it no no in some other in some other video i'll say so lord krishna says that i reciprocate as one approaches me so if you approach god for useless reasons which will not benefit you in the ultimate uh, in the ultimate fulfillment of your life then god will also behave like that you see but if you go and request god that please give me the group the association of those people a group setting where people are practicing spirituality for example in a crude sense please bless me with a center of spiritually minded people inside my city or inside my village you just do the prayer and then you see things changing that will happen and then when you are surrounded by those people you can chant your mantras better. You can have a good lifestyle. You will also get prasad there to eat. Vegetarian food which is offered to God without onion, without garlic. Then your lifestyle will be pure. You will have good thoughts. Then your mind will be peaceful. Otherwise, oh, today she is having an affair with whom? He is having a promotion. He must have done something. Otherwise, how did he get the job, right? US is going to attack on Russia, all the useless rubbish garbage of this world. Those things are popping inside your head, yes, right? And then you are saying, oh, maybe if I give some donation to some uh, old people on Saturdays, my Saturn will improve. Till the time you don't do this, you do any remedy for Saturn. I challenge you, nothing is going to work. <laughs> yes, this is my open challenge. Anybody who has not mastered his or her emotions, mental stability, and without that, the person is going on doing remedies for Saturn. It doesn't work. They have different remedies for Saturn. They say that, oh, you should walk on Saturdays. Then everybody will start walking on Saturdays. Everybody's Saturn will improve. No, it doesn't work like that. Those things will only work provided this is there. The fundamental has The fundamental property has to be there. If this is not there, whatever you do externally, you feed crows, crows is signified by Saturn, they say. So that means let everybody come and feed, keep feeding crows, right? Everybody give donation on Saturdays. The world will become penniless on Saturdays because all the money is going to the poor people, right? On Saturdays, you do whatever you want. But till the time you are not doing this, some simply a waste of time, such a waste of time. You are fooling yourself. And myself and God and everybody. <laughs> so maintain a spiritual life within your existence. And for that we need to get up early in the morning. For that we have to sleep early. <laughs> then early we get up and chant mantras. Especially Om Namo Narayanaya. This mantra is for Saturn. Yes, please chant this mantra if you want to improve your Saturn. Alright, and then we read scriptures like the Gita and we read scriptures like Brahma Samhita, Srimad Bhagavatam.
by that we will see what this world is lord krishna says in the gita that this material world is a place of miser- misery napto vanti mahatmana <laughs> mahatmas are enlightened beings you see mahatmanas to mam partha daivim prakriti mashritam bhajanti ananya manaso gyatva bhutaadi mavyayam mahatmas are one who know me mahatmanas to mam partha daivim prakriti mashritam who takes shelter in my divine potency which is spiritual potency that's divine satchit ananda and whenever you get chance speak about god speak about scriptures like the gita instead of talking about game of thrones instead of talking about shahrukh khan kajol priti zinta harry potter useless rubbish garbage of this world <laughs> let's talk something good all right so there you go if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video which i'm very sure you would have liked click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is thinking how to improve his or her saturn and if you want a consultation regarding your saturn or jupiter or your marriage or your wedding or your career or your fired or whatever it is then you can go to my website and book a reading all right there you go god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will definitely find him okay until next time bye bye see you